Hello guys, good evening. Hi guys, are you there? Hi teacher. Hi Kelly, how's everything? Ah, uh, my day is tired. Tired? Yes, I see. Tired. Standing whole day, de pie todo el día trabajando. Really? I see. Jesus Christ. That must be horrible to be like the whole day standing up. Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, but I think you are in your house already, don't you? Supongo que ya está en casa, ¿no? Oh, sí. Sí, yes. Mm, okay, that's the good thing. At least you are in the house. That is perfect, right? Ya por lo menos está descansando. Ah, sí. That is nice. ¿Cómo se dice con los pies arriba? <laughs> with, with, with the feet up. With the feet up. <laughs> with the feet up. <laughs> yeah. But the good thing is that, yeah, man, you are in your house now, resting, ready to have the class. That, that's like... Good, right? That is great. Okay, so what about the rest? How was your day, guys? I'm um, talking to Darlene, Miguel. I don't know if Miguel is there. I haven't seen him participating in the, the class time. Are you there, Miguel? Okay. Some of your classmates apparently got issues to get connected, right? But I guess throughout the you know like the class they are going to get connected. So how was your day, Moises? Are you there, mister? Let me see. Oh Jesus, Moises is gonna be as a listener, apparently. Uh darling. What about you? Present. Ah, okay. So, how was your day, darling? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Uh, my day, excellent. <laughs> ah, your day was excellent? That is great to hear. Here Good night, teacher. Hi, Herbert. Good evening. Excuse me. Good to see you here. <laughs> All right, so more and more are just getting connected. That's perfect. So we can start, guys. All right, the first thing, as always, I'm going to start with the attendance list. And then we are going to start with an extended practice because tonight, guys, we're just going to have a short. Let me see what it says. Uh, saying, this is an ah, okay, Moises, thank you for letting me know. All right, so let's start with the attendance list, as I said, guys, because we got a lot of things to practice tonight. Let me see. No, no, no. Jasmine? No. <laughs> okay, let me see, darling. All right, so darling is not here. Let me see. Hello, teacher. Digam. I am in there. <laughs> <Yeah, not like laughs> okay, I'm just starting with the attendance list. Uh, David Rodolfo. Presente. Okay, good. Denis Adonai. Let me see. All right, so she's not here yet. 
Ok, Fátima Daniela. Mm, ok, so Fátima is not here. Patricia Perfect. Gabriel. Oh, yeah, he's there. Ok, thank you, Fátima. Uh, Present. You. Ok, good. Patricia Gabriela. Ah, yeah, she's there also. Good. Uh, Herbert Vidal. Present. Ah, ok, perfect. Gladys Teresita. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so she's there. Ok, thank you, miss. Jose Roberto. I don't know if Roberto is here. Mm, ok, let's move. Juana Hazel. Okay. Perfect. Then we got Julia Janira. Let me see. Okay, I think it's one of the ones that are sent for permission. Kelly Marcela. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Crisia Vanessa. Okay, so Crisia is not here yet. No. Manuel Jose. Good noches, teacher. Hi. Good evening, mister. Uh, let me see. Marvin Obed. Okay. Ahorita uh, voy a manejar. Ah, okay. Unos minutos me conecto bien. Okay, mister. Let me see. Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Miguel Angel. Ah, okay, Miguel. Moises Alberto. Ah, yeah, Moises is in class right now. Right here. Okay, perfect. Natalie Andrea. Here. Ah, okay, perfect. Norma Maritza. Present. Ah, ok, perfect. Ros Noemi. Ah, ok, Ros. Ok, perfect. Tamara Lisset. Ok, Tamara. Walter Antonio. Alright, so Walter is not here yet. Hi, teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. I, I right now is a reading is a reading in my house. I in this moment I connect to you. Mm, okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. That's okay. And the last one we got William Alexander. Present teacher. All right, William. One question. Ah, uh, le aparece William asignado la el módulo en la plataforma. Ha podido acceder a la plataforma. Mm, fíjese que lo he intentado en varias ocasiones y no me aparece me aparece como que si no tuviera el módulo asignado exacto, es que he visto que no me aparece usted en el listado de la plataforma entonces voy a contactar soporte técnico mañana para que lo, se ponga en contacto con usted para que le habiliten se lo puedan habilitar, ok ah, perfecto, perfecto okay. gracias Very good. All right. There you go. So, all right, guys, so welcome back to another video conference, right? Let's remember this is the class number eight that we are going to be developing tonight, right? And tonight, what we are going to basically have, it's going to be a general practice, but using, all right, the simple present, practicing the daily routines, right? That's what we are going to be doing tonight guys applying a little bit the structures that we have been discussing throughout these past classes right so that's what basically we are going to be uh doing tonight all right so the first uh thing that we are going to start uh, on it's going to be with a short feedback right with a short feedback about the class that we had last time Right, so, okay, Julia, very good, thank you. All right, so what do you guys remember from yesterday's class? Let's start with that. 
What do you remember, guys? Can somebody remember something about the last class, guys? Um, yes, no questions and short answers. All right, so basically we were discussing the uses of the yes, no questions, right? And short answers. Okay, very good. What else, guys, do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Qué más estuvimos viendo la clase pasada? Que puedan recordar. All right, remember that it was, it was basically the, the whole structure, right? So, estuvimos viendo, si recuerdan, dos estructuras con relación a las yes, no questions. ¿Se acuerdan cuáles son esas estructuras? Yeah. Oh. El, el that y el does. Ok, el do y el das. Right? Y el do y el das. Ah, ok, okay. very good. ¿En qué situaciones yo voy a utilizar do? ¿O con cuáles pronombres puedo utilizar do? Can somebody help me on that, guys? Con... When hey, subject I... is singular. Ok. Mm. When the subject is singular. Ah, ok. So, entonces es en primera persona, segunda y plurales, right? Ya es cuando mencionamos I, you, we, they, right? En esas situaciones es que usamos do. Y does, if you remember, guys, por lo general lo utilizamos cuando estamos hablando sobre singulares, right? When we are basically talking about singulars. Right? Entonces ahí es cuando ya usamos los pronombres he, she, it, right? And singular nouns. If you remember this. Okay? So, in this context, en ese contexto, entonces, podemos hacer varias, uh, like, you know, like, ways. Give me one second. To interpret this. Recuerden, en una oración positiva, yo puedo tener acá, for example, Voy a poner. You go to work every morning. Right? Esta es una oración positiva. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, ¿cómo crear a partir de esta oración positiva? ¿Cómo yo puedo crear una pregunta? ¿Qué es lo que yo tengo que sacar de acá? Vale, para comenzar. Lo primero que tenemos que extraer es el verbo. ¿Ok? En este caso, tenemos una frase que va con el verbo. Y es, go to work. ¿Qué significa go to work, guys? Ir a trabajar. Okay. Ir al trabajo. Very good, very good. Otra cosa que tengo que sacar acá es el, es el sujeto, el subject. Y lo tenemos acá. Entonces, a modo de pregunta, esta oración positiva nos quedaría de la siguiente manera. Primero, recuerden, según la estructura que estuvimos discutiendo en la clase pasada, ¿con qué voy a iniciar una pregunta? What is the starting of a question, guys? Of a just no question? ¿Cuál sería el principio? Do. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to start with do. Okay. Luego del do, recuerden, va el subject. ¿Cuál sería el subject en este caso? El you. Exactly. So you got it like this. Do you. Y ahora necesito el verbo. Right? En este caso, la frase que tenemos en la oración anterior. Este sería work. Go. To work. Y luego podemos colocar lo demás. Every morning. Y el símbolo de pregunta. Do you go to work every morning? It's like, ¿vas a trabajar todas las mañanas? 
So, if the answer is positive, recordemos, si es positivo será, yes, I do. Okay? If the answer is negative, it will be, no, I don't. It will go this way, right? So, these are the ways in which I can create a positive statement. Esta es una oración positiva. And then we have a yes, no question. Y aquí ya tenemos una pregunta, right? Que como respuesta podemos colocar yes or no, right? So those are the forms how we can do it, right? Ahora bien, esto con relación a primera persona. What happened when we are using third person? Cuando estamos usando una tercera persona, ¿cómo sería en este caso? Vaya. Let's create a positive statement. Vamos a crear una oración en positivo. All right. So, yo puedo decir, Mauricio, all right, Mauricio has, what? A nice car. Let's put it this way. Mauricio has a nice car. Mauricio tiene un carro bonito, por así decirlo. Ok, has a nice car. So, Mauricio, remember, is the subject, sería el sujeto, has, sería el verbo, a nice car, it will be the complement, right? Sería el complemento. So, in this case, ¿cómo sería el inicio de la pregunta acá? Right, if you remember, guys, si recuerdan, básicamente acá ya no tendríamos que utilizar do, sino la forma singular de ese verbo. ¿Y cuál es la forma singular del verbo tú? Eh, your. Eh, no. no. They. Das. Exactly. In this case is das. Right? Das. Entonces, vamos a convertir esta oración positiva en pregunta. E iniciamos con das. Right. After das. ¿Qué voy a anotar después? El susto. Ok, en este caso sería Mauricio, right? Das Mauricio y luego el verbo. ¿Cómo iría el verbo en este caso? ¿Alguien me podría ayudar? ¿Será que puedo poner has tal y como lo tengo acá o no? Es el verbo base, en forma base siempre. Exactly, very good. ¿Y cómo es el verbo en forma base en este caso? Have. Home. Exactly. Right. Ya no sería has, sino have. Ok. Very good. Does Mauricio have a nice car? You see? And you got the question over here. Does Mauricio have a nice car? Good. If it is positive, si la pregunta, I mean, si la respuesta es positiva, ¿Cómo sería? Yes. Yes, what? He does. Exactly. No, he, he does. does. Remember, he remember, does. because it's third person. He does. Yes, he does. Very good. If it is negative, remember. No, he doesn't. Right? And we got it like that. Y ahí ya tenemos la respuesta en negativa también, right? So remember, these are the forms of answering a yes, no question using a singular noun, right? Very good. So basically, guys, if you remember, this was part of what we were discussing last class, right? Entonces esto era parte de lo que estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada. Right? Very good. Ahora bien, a partir de estas oraciones y estas formas de pregunta, vamos a hacer algo. Because I'm really interested in, you know, like, in checking if you have understood this. You, let me see. I,
Okay, very good. So I got a positive sentence here. Tengo una relación positiva acá. Okay? And first person. ¿Podrían transformarme esta oración en una pregunta, por favor? Let's do it. Aplicando los pasos que tenemos ahí. Justo como hemos hecho el ejemplo. All right, and then copy that on your notebook, guys. Okay? Ahora, y copien en su cuaderno. Cuando la tengan, me lo hacen saber. So we're going to check it, okay? So make that sentence, that positive sentence into a question, please. Transformémosla en una pregunta, por favor. You got, you buy breakfast at 9 a.m. Let me know when you finish. Let me know, guys, when you finish, please. All right, did you finish? Terminaron? Okay, very good. Tamara, in this case, could you help me uh, start in the question? Podría ayudarme a comenzar como es la pregunta? Uh, could you please repeat that, Tamara? Eh, se le escuchó todo cortado. Do you? Ah, okay. Do you buy breakfast? Ajá. Uh -huh. At 9 a.m. Like this? Okay. Uh, let me see. Guys, do you agree with her? ¿Lo tienen así como ella? Yes. Mm, okay, very good. Basically, if you got it like this, guys, it means it is correct, right? Perfect. Thank you, Tamara. So this is the way how you got it, right? In a correct way. Do you buy breakfast at 9 a.m.? Good. So if the answer is positive, it will be, yes, I am. If the answer, remember, is negative, it will be no. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Yes, I do. I'm just getting confused. And no, I don't. It goes this way, right? So in here, you got some very basic forms to get into questions like this. Okay. Very good, guys. What am I giving this short feedback? Because in a somehow, later on, we are going to need these kind of questions just for a couple of activities that we are going to be doing, okay? Good. Uh, before moving on, guys, with uh, the contents that we are going to be discussing tonight, do you have any question? Antes de pasar a directamente el tema de esta noche, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esto? 
something guys that you probably need help with is everything okay hmm. okay i guess everything is okay with this all right perfect now i am going to share this short presentation that we got over here all right can you confirm guys that you can see my presentation me confirma si pueden ver la presentación por favor Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's start with this. Now what we're going to be doing is just having a short discussion and practice about daily routines, activities, practice, right? So basically that's what we are going to be doing. And you might wonder guys, what is a daily routine? When it comes to daily routine or when we are talking about daily routines, are basically those activities that you guys do every day. Básicamente aquí es cuando nos referimos a todas esas actividades que nosotros hacemos todos los días y es normal para nosotros el poderlas hacer. Right? So, that is basically a daily routine. So, what are we going to be doing? We are going to apply the structures that we have been discussing up to now okay good so what was like the most relevant that we did and we are going to do in this class so we're going to have the review something that we just finished right the review from the previous class now we're going to have a short introduction about how to create a schedule using our daily routines we're going to go into a short practice on that and then we are going to be working in the manual, right? So this is like the most relevant that we got for the class. Now, guys, we got daily routines. Ahora bien, vamos a hacer un pequeño ejemplo acá sobre qué es un daily routine. Básicamente vamos a mencionar todas esas actividades que por lo general solemos hacer desde que nos levantamos hasta que nos vamos a dormir, right? So basically, that's what we are going to be doing. So, Kelly, help me out reading this sentence, please. I wake up at 5, 30, o'clock. Mm -hmm. 30, okay, 5, 30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kelly. So, I wake up at 5.30 a.m. So, what does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Ah, me despierto, right? A las 5.30 a.m. So, that's how my day starts, right? Good. Then, uh, let me see. Norma, help me out reading this one. I get up at 5.45 a.m. A.m. Okay, very good. A.m. Thank you, Norma. Very good. So you got it like this, right? I get up at 5.45 a.m. Ah, me levanto a las 5.45. Very good. Let's move on this. Crisia, help me out reading this one. I take a shower at 6 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. I take a shower at 6 a.m. ¿Qué significa eso, guys? ¿Qué quiero decir ahí? I take... Tomo un baño a las 6 de la mañana. Tomo una ducha a las 6 de la mañana. Okay, very good. Es como, ah, en otras palabras, me baño, right? A las seis de la mañana. Very good. Then we got this one. Mauricio, help me out reading. I brush my teeth 
cheat theory a.m. Okay, very good. I brush my teeth at 6.30 a.m. Right? So, me cepillo en los dientes, right? A las 6.30 a.m. Good. Following with the sequence. Natalie, help me reading this one. Natalie, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, which one? Uh, the last one. The last one. Oh, I have breakfast at 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 six forty five a.m. Okay, very good. I have breakfast at six forty five a.m. Right. Good. So like, ah, desayuno a las seis cuarenta y cinco. Right. Just to put it that as an example. Okay, let's move on on this one. Let me see. Someone has not participated. De -de -de. Herbert, can you please help me out reading this one? Yes, excuse me. Okay. I go to war at 7 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. I go to work at 7 a.m. Nice. Okay, Hazel. I know Hazel is as a listener. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Darling, are you as a listener, darling? Uh, yes. I work from uh, 9 to 4. Hmm. PM, no sé cómo se, cómo se dice. PM. PM. Ya, yeah. solo que ahí, darling, sería, I work from eight. Porque eight. Ni nine es las nueve. Ah, perdón. <laughs> ok. 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 Thank you. All right. So, I work from eight to four PM. Very good. Now, let's move on to this one. All right. So, we got this one over here. Let me see. This is great. We got a lot of people that's a listener. Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tamara. I go home after work. Okay, very good. ¿Qué quiere decir eso, Tamara? I go home eh, after yo, work. Yo voy a casa después del trabajo. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's what it means. Okay, very good. So now we got this one. Uh, let me see. Manuel, are you there? All right, Manuel, help me out reading that one, please. Huh? Ayúdenme a leer la última, please. Okay. I get home at 6 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. I get home at 6 p.m. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Ah, llego a casa a las 6 p.m. Right? Then we got this short activity. Okay? And it says, <coughs> I watch TV. Right? Ah, veo televisión. Right? That's a short activity that we can mention over here. Okay. This is just... Another one. Uh, Mauricio, read please. I talk to my wife. My wife. Ah, oh, my wife. Yeah, okay, very good. ¿Qué quiere decir esto, guys? I talk to my wife. Hablo con mi esposa. Very good. Hablo con mi esposa. Very good. Okay, and then we got this one again. Kelly? I have class at 8 p.m. Okay, very good. I have class at 8 p.m. Right? Ah, tengo clases a las 8 p.m. Right? 
and then we got this one also let me see Walter, are you as a listener? Está como oyente? Mm, okay, so I guess he's as a listener right now. Okay, and Obed, are you there? Mm, okay, I think Obed is busy because he doesn't answer. All right, but let's repeat it on here. Crisia, help me reading this one, please. I go to bed at uh, 10 p.m. Okay, very good. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay, es como, ah, voy a la cama a las 10 p.m., right? And basically, guys, this is like what we have as a normal day routine. Entonces, es como un, a modo de ejemplo sobre las actividades, right, rutinarias que una persona puede tener, right? Just as examples. I know there are many more that probably you do, okay? But we can just do this, you know, like as a model of, uh, you know, like example for you, okay? Good. Do you guys have any question with this? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a estas oraciones? Something that you guys don't understand that much? No? Okay. Good. If you don't have questions, vamos a comenzar a trabajar desde acá. Right? From here, guys. Listen, what are we going to do in here? Me gustaría saber cuál es su daily routine. ¿Cuál es la rutina que por lo, por lo general ustedes tienen? Desde que se despiertan hasta que se van a dormir. Right? Tomen esto como base para poderlo hacer. Ahora, voy a dejar de compartir la pantalla por un instante. Give me one second. Okay, and how are we going to do this? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Listen. For right now. Por ahora lo vamos a hacer de la siguiente manera. Los voy a mandar a trabajar en parejas. Listen. En parejas. Nada más para que se ayuden. Ok. Por si tenemos inconvenientes al momento de escribir una oración sobre la actividad que vamos a mencionar. Ok. Entonces así. Luego lo vamos a hacer en primera persona. Y luego más adelante les voy a enseñar una estructura de cómo hacerlo en Tercera persona, tomen las actividades que por lo general ustedes hacen de lunes a viernes durante la semana, ¿ok? Since you wake up until you go to bed, desde que se levantan hasta que se van a dormir, ¿ok? On this, now, for the ones who got the cameras off, guys, who is active, who can participate in this? Para los que tienen la cámara apagada, ¿quiénes pueden participar, guys? Let's remember that you cannot have the cameras off all the time please recordemos que no podemos tener la cámara apagada todo el tiempo por lo menos para los que están participando please ok uh, Natalie says that she can participate very good uh, y los demás guys who can participate Herbert uh, Hayse no pero Hayse le dice salir ok darling yes, yes, ok uh, Alright, ladies, it's busy. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you participate? Okay, perfect, Moises. Thank you for letting me know that. Uh, let me see. Give me one second. <laughs> okay, Moises. Thank you for letting me know. Just give me one second. We got a couple of you that send me text messages. Here is a cheap is here. So I got two. All right, so with two people. Vamos a ver. Les voy a asignar de modo manual porque hay varios que no pueden participar.
symmetric. We need to make sure this, okay. Perfect. Now we can participate. Mm, Dennis, can you participate? Podría participar, Dennis? Or oh, are you as a listener? Mm, okay, so I didn't listen to him. Give me one second, guys. I'm just assigning you here. There is Patricia. Okay, Patricia, you cannot participate. Podría participar, Patricia? Oh, are you as a listener? Mm. Al parecer desactivo el audio. Let me see. Okay, so Fatima. Uh, Fatima, what about you, Fatima? Can you participate? Uh, ¿Podría participar? En la práctica I don't know if she can participate let me see okay very good uh David what about you David can you participate in this activity I need to fill up on this. David Mills. Ah, okay, David. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por mencionarlo. Okay, so but I said that she was participating in. Okay. Okay, perfect. The other ones are just as a listeners. Okay, guys, let's go on that. Recuerden que lo que van a hacer es su daily routine en primera persona, okay? That's what you're going to go for, okay? Then I will go uh, uh, to check what you're doing, okay? Let's enter, guys. Let's get a set on that. Démosle aceptar, por favor. Jesus, what happened here? Okay, let me see. Okay, so Kelly, you have not been assigned, right? No me ha salido nada, Tisha, okay. para irme. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna assign you number one. Give me one second. Ahora sí. Sí. Okay, perfect.
Number three. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is weird. Why are you? In here, guys. Let me check. Assembly uh, number seven. Herbert, ah, uh, no le dio aceptar para unirse al breakout room. No le dio a aceptar para unirse al, al, a la sala y ya le había mandado la solicitud. Quizás no, porque no veo. Ok, give me one second. Sí. Vale, ahora sí. Vuelva, well, teacher, a, a mandarme. Ok, permítame. Let me see. I'm going to send you to number five. Permítame. Por desactivar el micrófono, le, le volví a oír. Ok, okay. ahí está. Ah, Ben William. ¿Qué le pasó a William? Ah, no, William. Me dejó. Ah, ok. Ahorita lo vuelvo a mandar. Deme un segundo. I'm going to send you two. Uh, one, two, three. No, I'm gonna send Herbert to a different one. Mauricio, go to number six. Dele aceptar, por favor. Jimmy, one second. Perfect, and now I'm going to move this one to number six. I work from eh, es 2 4 p.m. Yo trabajo desde las 8 a 4 p.m. Sería ese el ejemplo. Pero para no hacerlo tan exactamente como el teacher nos ha dado así y para de hacerlo como más, más creativo, ¿verdad, teacher? Una que diga, yo empiezo a trabajar a las, por lo menos yo en mi caso empiezo a las 7:15. Sería. El verbo empezar es estar, teacher. 
Sí, vaya. Yes. I start work at to seven work. to work. I, I start to work at. I start to work. Ajá. Si es a las 7. Del... Si es a las 7, 7, 7 a.m. I start yeah. to work. At... Solo que comenzamos desde el principio, ¿verdad? Desde sí. que nos levantamos. Eh, sí. Let's remember. Ya vamos por la quinta. Perfect, perfect. Recuerden que en este caso las mandé a trabajar así en pareja, pero nada más para que se fueran dando como consejos de cómo hacer las oraciones, ¿ok? El una a la uh -huh. otra, pero las dos van a ir de acuerdo a las actividades que ustedes hacen desde que se levantan, ¿ok? No van a uh -huh. tener lo mismo por ahora. No, porque la Darlene empieza a las 7 y 15 a trabajar, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, very good. <risa> a las 9. <risa> ¡Ah, my God! ¡Qué galán! <risa> ¿Cómo me bueno, dijo eh, eh, las 7 y 15? ¿Cómo sería 7? 7 15. 15. 7 15. Exacto. Y este, la que dice, I have lunch at, eh, ¿cómo se dice 11? 11. 11. 11. 11. Okay. A esa hora desayuna, mujer. Almuerzo es ahora, todos los ah. días. Ah. Ay, de veras, ¿verdad? Tenemos que poner el almuerzo, va. Yes, I have lunch. Bye. Como a la hora que llega a casa. Uh -huh. Bueno, yo voy a poner que a las 4 y 5. Sería, I go, to, I go home after work at 4, 5 a.m. Bien, perdón. Yo así, a las, eh, a y yo así como que, ¿en serio? A las 4 de la mañana. En la madrugada. Oh my God. <risa> y usted yo le voy a poner a las 6 y 15. 6 y 15. Ah, ok. Teacher, y yes. de ahí este, es la... okay. Tenemos que escribir como. El de la persona y el nuestro también, ¿verdad? Mm, por ahora solo el de ustedes. Las mandé así Ajá. para trabajar en parejas, nada más para que se fueran medio corrigiendo ahí si hay alguna que tenga duda, right, o something like that. Y luego voy a mostrar las actividades de cómo hacerlo en tercera persona, de acuerdo al verbo, y luego ahí sí, van a volver acá, pero ya van a escribir el del compañero. Nosotros ya lo estábamos haciendo, <risa> Ok, lo Pero... que pueden hacer es corroborar luego. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ah, ok. That's what you Bye. can do. Ok. Ok. okay. ¿A qué hora? Hey guys, how do you go here? ¿Cómo van? Hello. Hi. Hi, and teacher Fatima. Hello. We have problem with the signal. With the signal? Really? The signal, I don't listening. I don't mm. listen. You don't listen to her? Fatima? Se le corta. Se le... No hemos podido hablar nada. Se le corta. Ooh. Sí, es que acá como que ya quiere llover. Entonces oh. la señal está bastante mal. Mm. Ay, qué bien que va a llover. Acá en no llueve sí. varios días. Gran calor que está. Where do you live? Aquí, I live in San Miguel. Wow. Qué yeah. nice. Mm. Ay, el, 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 el. Calorcito, Digamos que el calorcito no es, no es tan nice que se diga. Pero usted es de San Miguel. Yes. Oh, Digamos que es, es una zona limítrofe entre San Miguel y Usulután. Oh. Yeah. Probably you know this, the, 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 well, the place here it's called El Tránsito. I don't know if you have heard about El Tránsito. El tránsito... ¿Una vez lo escuchó eh, mencionar? ¿Por, por Jucuapa? ¿Por Jucuapa? Eh, no, abajo, abajo. Porque Jucuapa oh. ya es jurisdicción de, 
eh, Usulután. Estamos hablando por la carretera al litoral, eh, Ah, por el la litoral, zona, pero ya es bonito. por la zona, por la zona del delirio hacia adelante, Ajá. buscando para Oh, occidente, ay, esa zona. qué bonito. Ok. Yeah, that area. Me ha tocado ir a San Miguel por mi trabajo y vamos a Berlín a ver una tía. Ah, really? Sí, y me voy por el litoral. Ah, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I went to San Salvador today. Y así como que, fue quisiera tener este clima. Ya, <laughs> yeah. Y me dice el señor, no, me dice, ahorita está haciendo calor. Me dice, y así como que, ay, como quisiera tener este calor allá. <laughs> No, hoy estuvimos a las dos de la tarde, estábamos en treinta y nueve grados. Ah, no, pero igual se sentía bien porque yo fui por la zona del seguro eh, y por la zona del nacional y relativamente fresco. Digamos que la temperatura que estaba ahí es la temperatura que suele estar acá, pero en las madrugadas. Híjole, ay no, sí, debe ser, no, debe estar tremendo. Ya, es un poquito tremendo. Ahorita está, le a 28 grados. Mm. Ya. Está fresco, relativamente está rico. Yeah. Ay, no. Ajá. Yeah. All right. So, how do you go? Entonces, ¿cómo vamos ahí con esa lista? Bueno, well, ay, yo, uh, ay, read my list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, my name is Norma Portillo. I get up at 4.49 a.m. Mm -hmm. and practice yoga every day from uh, 4.50 to 5.59 a.m. a.m. I take a shower at 5.20 a.m. and prepare breakfast to my child and we go to school at 6 a.m. After the school, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. and I go to work at 12.45 a.m. Go to school a recoger to pick up To pick up my to my daughter, and we go to at home. We have lunch, and I go to work at 2 p.m. In my work, talk with my customer mm -hmm. every day and visit mm -hmm. uh, companies three day for week. Okay. And ahí me quedé. <laughs> Okay, good. So, le falta entonces ahí. Okay, very good. You're going good. Vamos bien entonces. Okay. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go and check another group. And let's keep okay, working. Okay, voy a okay. terminar. Okay, perfect. Okay. Good. Eso sería para las mujeres. Ya lo están llamando. Ay, Hello. ¿cómo vamos? No, I'm just Hello. checking. Hello. <laughs> So I, I was passing everything over here done. just to check if you have done everything. Uh, we're working on it. I mean, ah, okay, okay. We started with his activities, with one of the activities, routine. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So right. after that, we'll continue with mine. Okay, there you go. That's perfect. Yeah. How Thank classes? You. Okay, cool. How classes are? Mine? Yes. Ah, uh, really hard because we are like, <laughs> I mean, it's a new, like a subject. It is called uh, Investigación Acción Participativa. I don't know how to say that in English. I guess it is Participate Active Investigation, something yeah, like that. that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And so we are, we have just started that, that, sub, that new subject. And so we are... I still like getting like mm, getting to know all the topics and all this. The, 
and all the, the like the the homeworks and the and the aside uh, the the, the uh, I mean the, the homework segment that we are going to do uh -huh. through these six, six weeks. But, it sounds pretty difficult. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> but um, I like to be like it's like it's stressful every single time, uh, so that's why. I, <laughs> I'm planning. I'm planning to take a maestria, but uh, master degree. It, it, it is a little bit difficult right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what the the masters that I'm starting is the masters in education in the wow. superior education, mm -hmm. like to to make uh to make uh how do you say that? Como programas de asignaturas. Ah, okay. And, so and, as, and as well to to be a like a professor. Ah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get yeah. the scale. Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, this this colorful. <laughs> See, nah, I mean, yeah, I mean, cool. but uh, uh, as of right now, I'm where I'm when I'm where where I'm working where I work. Mm -hmm. Um, the how do you say this? I'm a little bit tired, sorry. Como la, o sea, soy como administrativa, so. Ah, so you're no in soy the administrative thing. area. Ah, okay. Yeah, administrative area, and I'm not uh, like a professor yet, but mm -hmm. someday I will. No, I mean, that's I nice. Be. That is nice. Yep. Ah, that's cool. Keep on going that. Yeah, me, probably next year, I'm going to start a semester. Yeah. I'm going to get stressed for three years. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Stress. Uh, yeah. I can't tell. It's right now, just... it works. Yeah. Now I'm just getting stressed with my little baby. Huh. Sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, I had to put the class in silent and just, like, walk up a moment and kind uh -huh. of call him just for him to get asleep. <laughs> uh, to calm him down. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a little. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool, yeah, man. Keep kidding. on going on that. That's great. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to go and check another group. So let's see what's up, okay? Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye. Da, da, da. Hi, guys. How's everything? You finished already? Yes. Ah, perfect. What about you, Walter? More or less, also, sometimes. Me faltan algunos ahí, pero ya avancé. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's nice. That's nice to hear. Okay, yeah. great. All right, perfect. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to call you to go to the main station, okay? ¿Cómo puedo poner todo de un solo pongo 24 horas? Eh, sí, sería mejor así. Si pusieras. Quizá mejor. I work, voy a poner. I work from I work. De, 7, de la, a 7 de la mañana a 7 de la, de la noche. Lo... Uh, no, a 7 a.m. de las. No, las creo que son. Así es. De no, de la no, de next, next the next day. Algo así. Uh -huh. I work from 6 a.m. Uh -huh. to 6 a.m. to the next day. Uh -huh. The next day. Of, of the night. Of the next day. Okay, si no lo voy a poner así como le dije, de 7 a.m. a uh, 7 p.m. Empecé. Yeah. So basically, you work 12 hours. 12 hours, 24 horas. Ah, no, es que si es 24 horas, entonces no sería from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Sería from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. from the next day. Ne next day. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, 7 a.m. to next day. Okay, it goes like this. Five, I work seven, 6 a.m. for the... No. Work. I work from. From seven Victoria. This is crazy. So basically, that's a twenty four hours shift. Turno de veinticuatro. That must be heavy. <laughs> A very heavy. <laughs> but of the two days, so sure. Um, that is a lot. A lot of shit. Huh? The the they can rest. Rest. Pero eso como receso. No, no, no. Rest is descansar. Break viene de la palabra receso. Okay. You can say take a rest. Right? Como descansar, take a break, es como tomar un receso. That's you. All right, perfect. What about uh, that? Are you in the last part, guys? Ya estamos a lo último. Mm, yes. Mm, okay. I think. Wow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Herbert, what about you, Herbert? Are you about to finish? You can see termina con sus actividades, Herbert. Dígame, teacher. Eh, ¿Ya está por terminar con uh, la escritura de sus actividades? Pues ya terminé la mayor parte. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok. Ya, yeah, because it's basically time to come back, ok. Que ya es hora de volver a la main section. Quisiera escuchar lo que tienen hasta ahora, ok. Sí, está bien. Ok, perfect. I'm going to go back. See you there. Okay, so everybody's just coming here and everybody's just, let me see. Yeah, everybody's here. Okay, who wants to be the first pair, guys? ¿Quiénes quieren ser los primeros en leer lo que tenemos ahí para todos? Who wants to break up the ice, guys? ¿Quién me dice, me, teacher, I want to participate the first? Nobody. ¿Cuántos puntos nos vamos a ganar? <risa> <risa> exonerar los ay, exámenes. <risa> ay, caramba. Exonerar exámenes. <risa> Me duele el corazón cuando dice eso de exonerar exámenes. <risa> ah, that, by the way, guys, you're about to have that one, right? Por cierto, y hablando de eso, mmm, recuerden, el jueves terminamos Semana 2. Ok. Oh, Tamara. No escucha nada, Tamara. Ok. Me confirma por qué no. Give me one second. Give me one second, guys.
Okay, so now Tamara. Okay, good. Give me a second. Y no escucha. Give me one second. Okay, perfect. So while she comes back uh, all together with uh, Mauricio, let's start over. Okay, so Norma, I'm going to start with you. Who were you working with? Hi. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Norma Portillo. I get up at 4. 45 a.m. and uh -huh. practice yoga every day from 4 50 a.m. to wow. 5 to 50 a.m. I take a shower at 5 20 a.m. and pre prepare breakfast to my child. And we go to a school at 6 a.m. After the school, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. And I go to work at, and I go, I'll go, and I go to work. Okay. At 12.45 a.m., go to a school to pick up to my daughter. And we go to at home. We have lunch. And I go to work at 2 p.m. Or, or return to my work okay. at 2 p.m. In my work, talk with my customers every day and visit the companies three days for a week. Okay. I finish my work at 5 p.m and go to the school to pick up my son and at 7 p.m. And I we go to the home and we have dinner and I take a shower and I have English class at 8 p.m. and I go to bed, to bed at 10.30 p.m. Okay, perfect. Very good, Norma. Really, you wake up at four and you do yoga for one hour? Yes. Jesus Christ, that's I cool. recommend that for is you. Cool. That for, is for cool. other is excellent practice. Guess what? La última vez que yo dije, ah, man, I'm gonna wake up early porque quiero hacer ejercicio. You know, like to do exercise very early in the morning. So I usually wake up at five. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up at four. So I am going to do one hour of exercise every morning. It's when I get late. Es cuando más tarde me levanto. Oh my God. It's just simply that I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> no, but that's cool. That is excellent. Is that? The one hour of yoga. That is nice, man. Yeah. That is great. Yeah, it keeps you in shape. That is good. Okay. All right, Norma. I will okay. give you the chance, Norma, for you to choose the next participant. Um, who, who do you want to go next? Um, Moises. Okay, very good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she chose you, brother. I know. Right. <laughs> okay, let's go, mister. Okay, so I have to introduce myself first and then um, to describe all the activities or the routines that I do every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> My name is um, Moises Alberto, but <laughs> um, so first of all, I wake up at six thirty a.m. every morning. I turn off the alarm and get up to get ready, and after that, I take a shower. Um, I have a, a, a have breakfast and drink a cup of coffee at seven fifteen a.m. After that, I go to work at seven seven fifty something like that, and I start working at eight eight a.m. a.m. I have mm -hmm. lunch at midday and I come back to work at one p.m. After that. I finish working at 4 p.m. and then I go to my grandma's house to spend time with her and drink some tea or coffee. Okay. I arrive home at 6.30 p.m. And, and this is like daily. I mean, <laughs> I, mean oh, <laughs> cool. I arrive home at 6.30, have a dinner, and then I get connected to my classes. I go to bed at around uh, 11 or, or midnight, something like that. Uh, I mean, that's good. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Okay, very nice. All right, Moises, choose the next participant. Okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Natalie. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, but I, I was having that feeling that it was you, you were the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't hate you, you know. That's that's the disadvantages of knowing each other, you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, or advantages. <laughs> no. <laughs> no okay. Okay, go. Um well, I'm I'm going to share with you my daily routine. Okay. Uh, thank you, Moises. Okay. Yeah, you're very well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I wake up at six at, at six thirty a.m. and but I wake up I get up at six fifty a.m. and later I take a shower at seven a.m. and brush my teeth at seven thirty a.m. and then I go to to my work and I have breakfast at eight thirty a.m. Um then I chat with my <laughs> with my coworkers okay. and um I work from eight to four PM okay. and I go home after work at four or five PM and I get home at four twenty or mm -hmm. something like that. Then I um uh, go out with my dog at for thirty, I guess, and then I uh, watch TV at seven p.m. Uh, and talk to my husband at seven thirty p.m. Then I have class at eight p.m. and later I go to bed at eleven p.m. Okay, good, good. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. That's good. It's a very good routine. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Okay, good. Who's next, yeah. Natalie? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, Just pick someone that you consider they deserves to go next. I don't know if, if Tamara uh, participated yet. Uh, no, she hasn't. Okay. She hasn't, right? Now, Tamara, Tamara? Can, you, can you listen to us now? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, she's next. Thank you, Natalie. Okay. All right. Let's go, Tamara. Thank you. Okay. I I went up at a forty no four forty five a.m. Okay. I get up at a four a fifty a.m. Nice. And I take a shower at 5 a.m. Excellent. I brush my feet at 5, 10 a.m. 
I have breakfast at seven uh, one five a.m. <laughs> I go to work at six uh, six ten a.m. Mm -hmm. I work from at eight eight to six p.m. Ah, okay. I go home after work at six a six ten p.m. I get home at seven thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. I talk my husband at six thirty p.m. All right. Um, I have class at eight p.m. I go to bed at. 11 p.m. Okay, you go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, very good. There you go, Tamara. Perfect. Uh, can you help me out choosing the next one? Grisia. Mm, okay, thank you. All right, Grisia. I went, I went up at okay. 5 40 45 am okay i get up okay. and drink water at say 6 am i take a shower at 6 30 am trucas uh, i had breakfast uh -huh. mm -hmm. i had breakfast at uh, uh, Seven, I am. Okay. I brought my teeth. Oh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia el diente? Uh -huh. teeth. Teeth, teeth. At uh, seven, ten, I am. Mm -hmm. I go okay. to work at uh, seven forty. I uh, am. Okay. I go home after work at six. PM. Okay. I had dinner uh, at seven. PM. I have class um eight PM. Mm -hmm. uh, I brush no brush my teeth at uh, ten PM. I sleep at ten thirty PM. At 30 p.m. Ah, that's early. Okay, good. Bien temprano se duerme. Nice, nice. Yeah, because you wake up. It's because you wake up very early. 4.40, right? Or 4.45. 4.45, right? Porque se despierta temprano. 4.45. Ah, that's good. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, man. With full of energy, right? And you're like, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, good. Help me out choosing the other, the next one to participate, Chrissy. Uh, Kelly. Ah, okay. Thank you. Kelly, let's go. Me cuesta quitarle el mute. Okay. I get up at. 5.15 a.m. Okay. I take shower. I take a shower and change, brush my teeth between 5.30 and 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, I take the personal bus at 6.10 a.m. I have breakfast between 6 25 and 7 a.m. Really? You bre you have breakfast at that time? Entre esa hora tomo el desayuno, según cómo esté el, tra el tráfico. Wow, 6 de la mañana. Jesus Christ. Sí. Okay, okay. Uh, I start to work at 7.15 a.m. Okay. I have lunch at 12 30 p.m. So 30 p.m., okay. Uh, I get home at 5.30 p.m. 
I make dinner at 6 p.m. I watch TV while I make dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, I have dinner at 7 p.m. I have English class at 8 p.m. I sleep at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Okay. 10 p.m. Very, Very good. Con razón, cuando ya son las 9.58, yo veo así como que, teacher, it is time. Ay, me no, me <laughs> Ay, no más que finalizamos, me voy a la cama. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. I used to have, it, it reminds me, me recuerdo de un estudiante que tuve hace un par de meses. Que él le habían dado como, like, part of a medication. Le habían dicho de que a las 10 era lo máximo que él podía estar levantado. O sea, 10 sí o sí tenía que irse a dormir. So, every time it was like 9.55, estaba, sure, recuerde, 10 en punto me desconecto. 10 en punto, I gotta go to sleep. No, sí, a esa hora me voy. Ah, bueno, that's cool, that's cool. Ok, good. Kelly, help me out choosing the next participant. Este, Gladys Teresita. Mm, I think Gladys was not participating, right? Ah, ok. Este... Sí, ella no estaba participando. Ah, pues, Julia Yanira. Uh, tampoco va. Creo que ah, tampoco. pues no, Darling, okay. démosle. <laughs> ok, thank you. Ok. okay. Eh, daily, daily routines. Routines, ok. Routine. I wake up at Wake up. Uh -huh. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. Okay. I had breakfast at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. I wore at I work at 10 I am. Okay. I have lunch at 11 I am. 11, okay. I got home at 7. I have dinner at Seven. Mm, okay, en esa, en esa anterior a esa, when you say I go home at seven, es que a las siete llega a casa o se va para la casa. Eh, a las siete llego a la casa. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Y luego dice la otra, I, I rise class at eight. PM. Okay. I I sleep at eleven. At eleven. Okay. Good. I would like to have your schedule. I vamos teacher. <laughs> yeah, I would like to have your schedule for sure. Me gustaría tener su horario laboral. <laughs> but exactly at ten. I am like finishing my first shift. I start basically at seven and I got to uh, drive for almost one hour. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, darling, help me out choosing the next one. Le voy a decir cuáles son las opciones que tiene ahorita. Está okay. Manuel, Herbert, Mauricio, Ah, uh, and uh, Walter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> A Manuel. Ah, okay, good. Manuel. All right, Manuel. Para right. que no se esté durmiendo. <laughs> ahorita, ahorita voy. Vamos, Te Manuel. Escucha. Okay, good. Ah, bueno, vamos a, ver, vamos, a, vamos a ver si pronuncio bien. 
Okay. I got up 6 a.m. Okay. I take a shower at 6.30 a.m. 6.30, okay. I send a message to my green friend. Ah, okay, good, good. Ya ven, I a ver si se acuerda breakfast. de la novia. Okay, continue. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I have breakfast um 7 a.m. Okay. I to work up 8 a.m. Okay. I have lunch at 1 a.m. Ah, p.m. Ah, p.m. Yeah, because uh, p.m. is lunch la mañana. at p.m. Okay. 1 p.m. Okay. Um, E.M. Come back to work at 1 15 p.m. Y regreso, I get home at ah, p.m. Okay. Uh, okay. I have dinner at uh, p.m. Okay. I watch TV. I have class at uh, p.m. Eso nada más puse. Ah, ok. Good. Yo pensé que me iba a decir, I watch TV at 8 p.m. Y yo así como que, ah, ¿cómo? Pero si está en la clase. I watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. No, that's ok, Manuel. Good, good, good. Ok, right. thank you. Perfect. Now, help me out choosing the next participant. You got Ruth, Mauricio, and uh, who's the next one? Ah, Herbert. Ruth, Mauricio or Herbert, Manuel? Ah, uh, Mauricio. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mauricio, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> My daily routine is I wake up at 6 30. Mm -hmm. a.m. Okay. I get up at uh, 6.45 a.m. Okay. I sweep. Sweep the dog at 7 o'clock. Oh, Then okay. I take a shower at 7.30 a.m. And then I eat my breakfast at 7.45 p.m. Okay. I brush I brush my teeth at 8 8 8, 8, 8 p.m. Okay. I go to the work at 8 10 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last I work from 9 at sorry 2 6 p.m. Mm, okay. Then I go home after after work. Mm -hmm. I ride my motorcycle after work back my home. Then I get up. I get home. Sorry, at so so seven seven p.m. Mm -hmm. Then I have a class. I have a class. Okay. From 8 at 10 p.m. Then I brush my food. So, so, then, a, from 10, 10, 10, 10 mm -hmm. Then I go to the bed at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. Okay, very good. So that's your basically daily routine. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mauricio. Now, let me see. I'm going to choose the next one. Ruth, can you help me out reading your uh, routine? Okay, it's a cuatro nada más, teacher. <laughs> okay. Debo suponer que son las más principales, right? 
<laughs> digamos que sí. Ajá, the most important ones. Ok, let's read them. I get up at five a.m. Okay. I ride ride a uh, motorcycle to work. Oh, okay. You ride a motorcycle to work. Okay, that's cool. I ride. No sé cómo se pronuncia recibe. Receive. Receive an export document. Okay. And I study English for two hours at night. Okay, at night. Okay, very good. You didn't specify that much time, but that's okay. Very good. Thank you, Ruth. Mm -hmm. nice. All right, nice. And let me see. We got the last one. Let me see. Is it Miss Ultima? Oh, oh no, it's missing two people. Walter. Ya se me estaba escapando, Mr. Walter. Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Ready. I wake up. I wake. I wake up on the five o'clock. Okay. Um, I am going to leave my daughter six uh, seven o'clock at school. Okay. I have breakfast at seven half a.m. Okay. Uh, next, I gonna to work on the the a the university. Um, 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 eleven. Um, I gonna to to have the lunch. Next mm. in the afternoon, keep working. In the okay. night, I attending my English class online. Uh, so much. <laughs> oh, and the night cool. is, is sleep. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, perfect. Walter, are you a teacher? Ah, uh, ah, uh, right. uh, more or less. Yeah, I, I, I teacher. Um, uh, mm, see, I'm a teacher, teacher, and uh, in, in the says, the says and project. Mm, okay, okay, mm. but you don't. You don't work in the same area with Moises and uh, this other one, Melissa, I think it is. Ah, uh, 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 I with Moises, um, uh, are working together. <laughs> ah, yeah, Melissa, right? Uh -huh, yeah, see. you're working uh -huh. together. All right, it's you, Moises, and uh, let me see, what is it? Natalie, right? Natalie, Natalie. Uh -huh. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, you three are in uh, Santa Ana, right? You see uh, Santa Ana, mm. Santa Ana City. <laughs> ah, okay, that's Santa cool. City. That is nice, yeah. that is nice. Okay, perfect. Thank you, mister. All right, so. Light. <laughs> okay, good. What was what was the time that you want to sleep? I forgot. What was the time, Walter, that you mentioned that you go to sleep? Um, um, at uh, the, the 11 o'clock, more or less. Mm, or okay, less. okay, all, all right, less. very good, thank you. Okay, perfect. Yes. And we got the last one, uh, Harper. You're the last one, mister. Okay. I wake up at 5.20 a.m. A.m., okay. I get up at 5.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. I take a shower at 5.45. Okay. I go to work at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I work from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right. When I'm really... <laughs> 24 hours, pero pendiente. 24 hours? Okay, that's a long shift. Hello. Yes. I go home after work. Y llego a casa, I get, I get up at... I get home? Uh -huh. I get home at... 7.30 a.m. I play okay. my... I play with my son. Okay. Yo creo que se me quedaron unas dos de cepillarme los dientes y de desayunar, pero desayuno en el trabajo y me cepillo también allá en el trabajo, ¿ves? 
okay, okay, igual, no este, I play my wife, my with talk, my song. Uh -huh. To my wife, I have class at um, 8 p.m. Okay. I go to bed at um, 10, 30 p.m. Okay. Y me duermo tipo 11 o 12. Okay, you go to sleep at 11 or 12. Okay, mm, all right. Very good, Herbert. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Now, guys, listen. That was a way about how to, listen up, how to, you know, like, express yourself at giving your daily routine, okay? What about when you guys are talking about somebody else daily routine. Generalmente, cuando hablamos sobre la rutina de otra persona, right? Generally, we are using what? We're using a third person. Solamente quiero que revisen esta parte antes de irnos a la próxima práctica que vamos a hacer. Check this out, guys. My wife's daily routine, right? Oh, es como la rutina diaria, right? For my wife and my esposa. Check this out. Ah, uh, Tamara, help me out reading this one. She, she wakes up at 5 o'clock. Okay. 5 a.m. Oh, All right. Very good. So, if you take a look in here, guys, si se fijan acá, tengo ya el verbo modificado. Acá se le agrega la S. Wakes up, right? ¿Por qué? Porque ya acá ya estamos hablando sobre una tercera persona, right? Here, each verb is going to be modified. Entonces acá, cada verbo va a ir modificado, right? Okay, so that's the first activity. Now, darling, read the other one. Yeah. She gives gets, or gets, 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 gets she up. gets up yeah, five, five um, a.m. A.m. Okay, thank you, darling. Pero, eh, huh? cinco y quince, ¿cómo se dice, perdón? Five fifteen. Five thing. No, listen, five fifteen. Fit in. Yeah, 15. Okay. Fit in. Okay. All Thank right. you. Very good to you. So she gets up at 5.15 a.m. She's a little bit lazy, right? On, way, on standing up from her bed. So just imagine 15 minutes on the bed. <laughs> okay. Now, the next one. Grisia. She takes a shower at 5 30 30 30 yeah a.m. okay very good thank you she takes a shower at 5 30 right if you see y ahí tenemos modificado el verbo que en este caso sería takes right le agregamos la s Okay, now the next one. All right, check this out. Uh, Walter, help me read him, please. Yes, uh, she brushes her teeth at 6 a.m. Okay, thank you. She brushes her it teeth things at, at 6 a.m. All right, very good. So you see, entonces acá ya tenemos modificado el verbo, right? Acá, recuerden, como es un verbo que termina en SH, ¿ok? Por eso agregamos ES al final del verbo, ¿ok? Good. So, we got the next one, Kelly. She has breakfast at 6.15 a.m. Ah, ok, very good. Uh, Mauricio, help me read in the next one. She goes to work at 3 30 
a.m. Ah, okay, very good. So basically, guys, if you take a look in there, what we are doing is just mentioning the activities that another person does, right? Entonces acá estamos mencionando actividades que otra persona suele hacer. Y si ven, el verbo tiene que ir modificado, ya sea con S, ES o IES, dependiendo de la palabra que tengamos, ¿ok? So in that case, it will depend on the part that you have. Good. So, why did I show you this, guys? Because this is like the model of sentences that you are going to be doing right now. Okay, so I am going to stop sharing this thing. Voy a dejar de compartir acá. Okay, because I want we to go to work on something. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing here. And now, guys, listen. I want you to go, listen. I want you to go to page 25 in your manual. Creo que se vayan a la página 25, 25 del manual. Okay? What are you going to find in there, guys? ¿Qué van a encontrar ahí? Listen. You're going to find this chart. Vamos a encontrar este pequeño cuadro que tenemos acá. En este es el que vamos a trabajar en estos últimos minutos. ¿Qué dice acá? Dice, ask five classmates about their daily routines at work. And then share the information to three different classmates. Va, miren, acá no vamos a trabajar con tantos porque hay muchos que están oyentes. Entonces, no daríamos como mucho. All right. What do I pretend, guys, you to do in here? Como hemos estado trabajando en parejas, okay? Listen, I will give you the chance for you guys to do, listen, to do this. In here, you can write down the name of your classmate. En esta parte acá, escriban el nombre de su compañero con el que estuvieron trabajando, okay? Y acá, en esta parte acá, en estas cinco, listen, en estas cinco uh, líneas que tienen a la par, me van a escribir nada más cinco rutinas que consideren las más importantes de su compañero con el que han estado trabajando, ¿ok? Entonces, si su compañero que considera que I take a shower at 5 a.m. es importante para él o ella, ¿Cómo va a decir usted entonces? A, he o she, dependiendo quién sea, takes a shower at 5 a.m. Ya con el verbo modificado. ¿Ok? That's what we are going to go and do in here. ¿Ok? Escriban el nombre de su compañero acá y acá cinco actividades. ¿Ok? O daily routines que ellos consideran las más importantes. Esas son las que me van a escribir acá. Y luego viceversa, su compañero va a escribir las cinco actividades principales que usted le va a dictar, que usted considera más importante. ¿Ok? Do you understand, guys? What are you going to do? Ok. Perfect. Now, let's go to work in it. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Just by the way, Mauricio, ¿con quién estaba trabajando usted? Walter, creo. Ah, oh, no, Herbert, Herbert, Herbert. Herbert. Ok, let me see. Let me see. Herbert. I need Mrs. Albert. Herbert. Ok, six. Six. Ok, good. Go to it. Go for that. Uh, let me see. Ay, de hecho, está solicitando ahí. Ok, Natalie, who were you with? ¿Con quién estaba? Ah, con Tamara, right? Conmigo. Ah, ok, good. Give me one second. I'm gonna join you on number seven. Ok, no sé bien, Tamara. Ok, let's go on that. Ah, 
party where you're working with someone? That's right, it doesn't appear here. What he says? You there, mister? Hi. Uh, ¿No le pareció la, la opción de unirse? No. Mm, you were with Manuel. Voy a ver right? aquí el icono. Ok, permítame, lo voy a ver. Eh, the breakout room y luego lo mando para donde estaba. Uh, no pude <ríe> me, me devolvió la llamada <ríe> what happened give me one second number <ríe> sí. four number four number four number four number four yeah okay go for it Alberto, all right, so it was over here. She has, mm -hmm. she has lunch. A qué horas toma su almuerzo? A las once. At once. Y la otra más importante es su salida de, del trabajo, ¿verdad? Del trabajo, exacto. A las seis. ¿Cuál es la de... Esa es... La salida. Esa la teníamos nosotros, que sería la de... I, I get. Y si lo y si lo vamos a poner, teacher, a este le vamos a poner el S, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo es eso, uh, Kelly? Como Darling regresa a la casa a las seis, dijo, ¿verdad, Darling? Sí, a las seis. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, she gets home, ¿verdad? She gets home, ajá. Uh -huh. Solo con la S. Exactly. She gets. Get, le agrega la S. Solo la S, vale. Correct. She gets home at 6 a.m. Vaya, Dani, ya tengo las suyas. Ok. Ahora Hoy las mías. Con las suyas. La sí. primera importante, ¿cuál sería? La de levantarme. Ok. Y me levanto hora? a las 5 y 15. Ajá, uh -huh. take a shower. At 5.20 a.m. 5.20 a.m. Yes. I go to the to work. But she go go to work at seven forty nine a.m. A.m. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuánto? Escuela. La niña entra a las siete y media. Okay. It takes his daughter to school at 7:30 a.m. 7:30 a.m. After that, he goes to work at 8 8:30. 
era ya me <ríe> bye y la última y de ahí me voy a almorzar a las 12 del mediodía <ríe> con comida piensa uno <ríe> y ahora me voy a almorzar a las 12 del mediodía Pero uno rebaja uno la panza y tipo, estoy igual el teacher. ¿o qué? <ríe> el día que yo quiero hacer ejercicio, el día que, que, que menos, menos ganas me han de hacer. <ríe> Food is delicious, brother. <ríe> ya. <Yeah. ríe> That's why we are like that. The practice agency. The... <ríe> no. A mí nosotros somos que nomás solemos la comida y engordamos. <risa> cuando uno quiere menos va a comer cuando más, más hambre. Exactly. <risa> con, que con eso tenemos la rutina más o menos, ahí está. That's cool, that's cool. That's cool. <risa> Tengo, ya tiene mi rutina. Vamos sí. con la otra rutina. De Ruth. De Ruth, vamos a Ruth. Vamos a ver con Ruth. Pues vamos a ver. No con la mía. Ah, con la mía. Y le damos ahí, Crisia, ¿te gusta? Vale. Ay, güey. Por. Qué guapo. Se acaba de ir, Se acaba de ir, qué bien. ¿Cómo estás, güey? ¿Con quién estaba? ¿Con Herbert, verdad? Sí, pero se acaba ahí, es que se le fue el Inter. Me acaba de quedar un mensaje de que Ay, ya no chico. tenía internet. <risa> pero ah, sí, le tomé nota. Ok. Vamos a ver si traemos a alguien para acá. Give me one second. Sí. Jesus Christ, Tamara got issues to connect. All right, good. Hi, Tamara. Hola, teacher. Uh, you got issues, right? With the internet. Ok. Aparentemente tuvo problemas con el internet y que se desconectó. Sí, otra vez hice lo mismo, me salí por mi entrada ahora. Ah, ok, ok. Good. <risa> bueno, en este caso, pregúntele unas dos actividades a Mauricio sobre qué hace él, lo más importante, y las anota ahí como un third person, ok? okay. All right. Yeah. It's missing just one more minute. Para Mauricio, ¿cuáles son sus dos actividades más importantes? Ya preguntémosle. Dice, con, con la pronunciación de get up, ahora con la S. Gets up, gets up. Ah, gets up, casi yeah. unida la S con la uva. Exacto. Oiga, Dani, gets up. Bo She gets up. up. She yes. gets up. She gets up at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Esa, esa, eso estábamos hablando ahorita de cómo lo íbamos a pronunciar nada más. Ah, ok, ok. Ya las good. tenemos. Ya tiene ella mis cinco y yo sus cinco. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Let me see. Nada más I'm checking. Creo que la mayoría ya las terminó. Así que quiero escuchar algunos. Así que let's go to the main section, ¿ok? Les veo en la sección principal. Bye. All right. 
right, so everybody's coming back. Let's wait. All right, so espero no se me hayan ido todavía. <laughs> Let me check. Where is everybody? He just got like 11 people. All right, so they're coming back. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have a short reading, guys, about uh, the main uh, activities that you got from your classmates. Let's have a general uh, review on that. And I'm going to start with Kelly. Kelly, podría mencionar con quien trabajo y mencioneme nada más two activities on that. Las más principales. Eh, me tocó con Darling, Darling Routines, Sagadoba. Yeah. Eh, she, get, she gets up at 6 a.m. Okay. Y she gets home at 6 p.m. Okay, okay, very good. Very good. Thank you, Kelly. Now, Crisia. Two activities, Crisia. The ones that you consider are super important for the person that you were working with. Walter y Ruth. Ah, okay. Las actividades de Walter, dos principales, dice, ¿verdad? Yeah. Sería, he waits up um 6 a.m. Okay. Eh, he, he has breakfast at 7.30 a.m. A.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. So you mentioned the activities of uh, the, the, the Walter, right? Sí, okay, okay, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Perfect. Now, Mauricio. You got a mix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I work with Herbert and Tamara. Okay. And for me, important, important, sorry, <laughs> important, it's Tamara. Tamara get up. Gets up. Uh huh. Get gets up. Sorry, forty forty five a.m. Very very early. Yeah, super early. Okay. Then Herbert. Mm -hmm. Herbert. Herbert works. Mm -hmm. Forty. 44 all hours. Uh, you mean 24? Ah, sorry, 24 hours. 24 hours, okay. Yeah, that's a long shift. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, you got one and one, thank you. Walter, mention two activities uh, about your classmate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Voy a, la, eh, a nosotros, voy a describir las actividades de la compañera eh, Crisia, Ruth, perdón. Ah, Ruth, ok. Uh, uh, compañera Ruth, ah, no, compañera Crisia, no, <ríe> Crisia, sorry. Uh, ok, sí. oh, let's do something. ¿Tiene algunas ah, de Ruth? Eh, una de Ruth y, y de, y de Crisia. Vaya, mencioneme una de Crisia y una de Ruth, entonces. Ok, eh, Crisia, she waits at, at, um, at half a yen. Ok. Uh -huh. um, Ruth, she, she, she was at work um, at uh, a yen every day. Ok, she works at 8 a.m. Ok, very good. Uh, Ruth, where are you? Ah, yeah, Ruth is there. Ruth, whose activities do you have? 
como con... He wakes up at 6 a.m. He wakes up at 6 a.m. Uh -huh. He go and works at 8 a.m. And he goes home at 8 p.m. A.m. Ah, okay. All right. There you go. So you got two. Thank you, Ruth. All right, let me see who's next. Tamara, let's mention the activities Maurice you got. Six thirty a.m. and he works at eight a.m. to six p.m. Oh, okay, okay, all right. That's a long trip also. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Tamara. Grisia? You there, Grisia? Mm, okay, so currently Grisia is not there. Let me see somebody else. Julia, Natalie. So, tenemos un par más. Okay, first Natalie, after Natalie, it goes Norma, after Norma, it goes Moises, after Moises, it goes Ruth, and finally, Darlene, okay? All right, good. let's go, Natalie. Okay, I worked with Tamara. Okay. Um, somebody said when she wakes up, uh, so I'm going to say mm -hmm. um, Tamara has breakfast at 7.15 a.m. Okay. And Tamara works from 8 to 6 p.m. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Norma? Hello. Um, how do you say trabaje con Fatima? I worked with Fatima. I ah, worked Fatima. Okay. Fatima okay. Romero. Okay. She wake up. She wake up at five a.m. She wakes up at five a.m. Uh huh. She go goes to work at seven a.m. Ah, okay, good. So you got she, two. She finishes to work at. 4 p.m. All right. She goes to the gym at 6 p.m. Okay. And <laughs> she has the she has dinner at 8 p.m. Okay, there you go. So those ones are like the most relevant, right? Okay. Thank you, okay. Norma. Cool. Okay. Fatima mentioned two activities that are like the most important for Norma. And Norma por ti, uh -huh, uh -huh. She gets at 4.45 a.m. She has lunch at 1 p.m. <laughs> ah, okay, no, with those ones. That, that's okay, porque me faltan tres más, okay? There you go. Okay. That's okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. All right, Moises. Hi, so I work with I worked with uh, Manuel. Okay. And so in this question he mentioned two new two um new daily routines that are more important than the previous one. Okay. Um uh, he takes his daughter to school at seven uh, thirty AM. Okay. And he is always watching uh like English videos for practicing, like listening in oh, man, that's and cool. speaking every every single day. So okay. that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. There you go. Thank you, Moises. Okay. Okay, okay. Ruth. Hello. 
Are you there, Ruth? I think Ruth has, mm, I think she has already participated. Creo que ya participó, si no me equivoco. Right? Okay, darling. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Participé con Kelly. Okay. Just yeah. two activities tell me about Kelly, okay? Okay. All right. She gets at five. At five, okay. Uh -huh. She starts to go as uh, seven I I am. Okay, so she starts to work at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Very early. Okay. Yes. So let's just stay with this one because of the time. Okay, darling? Thank okay. You. Very good. And the last one, Manuel, tell me two activities that Moises mentioned to you about him and we finished. Okay, ahorita. Eh, Moisés, yeah. tengo dos apuntes aquí. Ok. No los apunté la... Vaya, eh, I have breakfast and a cup uh, of coffee. But in this case, it will be he has breakfast. Porque ya sería de, de, de Moisés, correct? Ah, uh, I have. He has. Ah, uh, he has. Yeah. He has. Okay. He has breakfast. Um, I cup of coffee. Seven cup of coffee. 15. Okay. Seven fifteen a.m. All right, at seven fifteen a.m. Um, I'm right. Um, home. Uh, sixteen. Six. First thing, I get connected to my class. Okay, so in ese caso sería he gets or he connects to to his class, all right? Porque ya sería ah, una sí tercera va. persona, okay? Sí, sí era. Ah, Yo le puse exactly. la primera persona. Yeah, yeah, it has to be on for a third person, okay? There you go, guys. So basically, okay. this was like part of a practice. Uh, thank you, Manuel, by the way. So it was a short practice about how to use daily routines, right? on first person and also on third person. I really appreciate the extra time that you were in here, guys, just to mention the activities. Tomorrow we, will, uh, we are going to continue with this, okay? So I'm just gonna go straight to the attendance list and that's going to be everything for tonight, okay? So let me see, darling Jasmine. Present teacher. Okay, great, David Rodolfo. All right, so David is there. Okay, cool. Dennis and I. Okay. Dennis, all right, so Dennis is there. Uh, Fatima Daniel, I mean, Dani, yeah, Fatima Daniela. Present teacher. Okay, good. Patricia Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay, good. Herbert Vidal. All right, so Herbert, oh, yeah, he's there. Uh, Gladys Teresita. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jose Roberto. All right, he's not here. Juana Hazel. All right, so she's there. Julia Janira. All right. Present teacher. Okay, good. Kelly Marcela. Present. Okay, good. Grisia Vanessa. Okay, uh, Manuel Jose. Ah, yeah, he's there. Uh, Present. Okay, Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Okay, excellent. Miguel Ángel. All right, so he's there. Uh, Moises Alberto. Here. Okay, perfect. Natalie Andrea. 
Alright, so Natalie is there. Okay, perfect. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Norma Maritza. Present. Okay, Ruth Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Tamara Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Walter Antonio. Present teacher. I happy. All I right. happy learning yeah, every day. <laughs> I like your attitude, brother. <laughs> and we got the last one, William Alexander. All right. Thank you just for getting connected, guys. I hope you had a wonderful night. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye all, the, all the people. Bye. Thank you for getting connected. Bye-bye. Good night. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye. All right. So basically what we were doing, it's just uh, to have a general practice about how to mention the daily routines right and the students were practicing a uh, telling their daily routines and also mention the daily routine of their classmates using third person right uh, the structures that we have previously practiced in the previous classes right so that's going to be everything for tonight so let's see you in the next class <laughs>